he was perfect. <sighs> this guy. He calls me after three months to tell me that we have nothing in common when that is a complete lie. I shouldn't have even given him a chance. You know? What was the point? My friends, they, uh, they don't give me any good advice because I just wind up feeling more alone with everything they say. Friends are useless. Like all of them? Trash, garbage, Hannah. Put them in a hefty cinch sack, tie it up, throw it to the curb. You came to me, I'm gonna help you. I have experience, I have a license, I'm wiser. You listen to me. Right, put my friends in the trash, like, not literally, but metaphorically. Hmm. So anyway, uh, tell me about this guy, this teddy bear. What, what were his interests? What was that like? Sure, he uh, loved to travel. He always had his travels, like, adventures on his Instagram story. And I mean, I like to travel too, but this year wasn't really great for that. So we would go around, like, sneaking into places because he's really small. He can kind of get in without paying, but... It was a little bit hard for me to do since I'm I'm a lot bigger than he is. Um, you know, it's also, come to think of it, pretty unethical to do that, to sneak in places and not pay for it. So... Hmm. Do you love him? Yes, I do. Then Hannah, you have to do whatever he wants. Oh. What a... Uh, just, but... But he broke up with me. I'm not gonna give you any of this bullshit, okay? If you're over 22 and you don't wanna die alone, you need to pick someone and make it work. I don't see any other options, Hannah. I'm 23. Do you, how about, how about, what if you just like, listen to what I wanted to do, like my plan post breakup on how to heal? I'm not one of these new age feminists, Hannah. I'm gonna be straight, I'm gonna give it to you real. None of this fluff, okay? Well, uh, sorry, but I thought that feminism was about gender equality. Among other things, I don't pay attention to that riffraff. Now, Hannah, did this teddy bear have a penis and did you entertain it? Yeah, like three times? All right, Hannah, I want you to listen and listen closely. You need to look at every situation from the perspective of you being a cow and men being farmers. So a large cow is, is a snack, as the, as the kids say these days. You give that milk away, you give that snack away, you give that dairy away, you give your vagina away. That's it, it's over. Oh. Do you get that, Hannah? You need to remind yourself of these things. Oh. So you the cow, he the farmer, he needs to buy you. Look at it from a marketing perspective. But just, I'm, um, you know that you called me like a large cow. <laughs> if I were a cow and I just want to clarify that I would be a small cow. We don't always see ourselves as others see us, Hannah. You, large cow. Large pretty cow. pretty small though, on the, on the spectrum of cows. I'm gonna go with the large. No, I, I think I'd be a small cow. Agree to disagree, but you need to do whatever he wants. Clean the house, clean in between those countertops, the little salt and pepper and grit that kind of falls in between, the feta cheese, toothpaste, coconut oil, whatever, whatever's in there. You, you get in there, you clean it, you scrub his balls with a good coffee scrub, not too harsh. So, do you at least want to hear what, what my post breakup plans are? I just, I really want to share them with someone that I trust and I had this whole idea to, you know, that could help me be happy again. Hannah, you're the one who is dating a teddy bear, right? But let's trust you, okay? Let's pretend this is Burger King in the 1980s. We'll have it your way, Hannah. Who are you, Charles in charge of my days and nights? Go, fine, let's hear it. Okay, so a lot of people have told me that I have a good skincare routine and they're always asking me about my skincare routine. So I was thinking that I would become an influencer. 
Sounds great. Or yeah. you could just get basic bitch tattooed across your forehead. Or you could get a large picture that says live, laugh, love and put in your living room. While you're at it, why don't you review your rosé on Instagram Live on Friday night in yoga pants? Why do I feel like you're making fun of me now? <gasps> Think of being mean. You're not listening to me, Hannah. Listen, I want to help you. I think you're a little more new agey. You're a young girl looking for love. That's great. You'll find what you're looking for. Godspeed, Hannah. Off you go. I have a dick appointment. Things were just different back then. You know, you just met someone, clicked, respected each other, and things were so simple but everyone has too many options now. You're so picky. You know, there were no apps, no Netflix and chill. It was just land and conversation. How old are you? You, you know, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I agree. on Instagram Live. Today we are going to start reviewing Rose. We're gonna be doing it every Friday with my boyfriend, Kevin. I owe this love of my life to my therapist. Thank you so much. Therapy is amazing, guys. You should try it. 